Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today we're going to be making a very quick recipe. It's called Mongolian beef and it tastes amazing. So let's get started. We have here some oil that we're going to be using now. This recipe is usually they deep fry the meat and I tried that but I just feel so bad deep frying it for some reason and it's got the cornstarch. I just didn't like it so we're going to pan fry it. And then I've got the beef. This is how we're gonna... What I want to do is I want to show you, I've got two pieces of really nice sirloin. It's got no fat in it. I like to cook with no fat. And then what you want to do is you want to cut it in a slant. So you're going to have really nice thin strips of meat, which is not going to take long at all for us to um, stir fry it. And this stir fry is gonna go really really quick now with the way we're gonna marinate this uh, meat you don't have to you don't have to at all marinate it but I like marinating it just because you know it gives that really really wonderful flavor so let's just let me just finish this one piece of meat here and then I'm gonna show you and you want to get a really, really sharp knife for this. Because the sharper your knife, the thinner the pieces are going to be. And for Mongolian beef, you want to get it really nicely thin. See how thin that is? good enough but for the marination I'm gonna do fresh ginger and garlic just a little bit of lemon pepper and just some soy sauce you just want to eyeball let's say about a fourth of a cup and I'm going to add the other piece this other piece of meat in there too I'm going to cover this up and we're going to th throw it in the refrigerator just a couple pointers use a glass container or a plastic container to put your meat in um, don't put it in a metal dish and do not cover it with foil always always cover it with plastic there's a certain type of chemical reaction that happens and it's not going to be good if you put it in a if you cover it with um, the um, aluminum foil and if it touches the meat um, so just make sure that you do that then we're going to come back and continue the recipe add not very much about two tablespoons of cornstarch now you could add more if you don't mind the the um you know the coating on it for me and my kids we just don't like that heavy coating of cornstarch on it so we're gonna mix this up really quickly and I'm going to show you what ingredients this recipe requires so once we mix this up and get our pan so we can get this going once we get our oil hot it should go so you just want a little bit of oil you don't want to add too much oil because since we're pan frying it, we should be okay. And you just want to make sure that we mix the cornstarch really well. <coughs> so we've got all this mixed up really well. Let's see if our oil is hot enough. I think I'm going to wait a couple minutes. All right. So while that's that's warming up let's go ahead and just quickly mix up the sauce now for the vegetables i know i'm all over the place today for the vegetables i chose three uh, vegetables i did carrots which are really really thin stripes i did some spring onions 
<clears throat> I did some green bell peppers and I did some red bell peppers, so four. And um, you can either take out these, not add any vegetables. I just feel like this way my kids get some vegetables. So for the sauce, I have about one cup of water. I'm going to add about half a cup of soy sauce. A teaspoon of ginger and garlic. <coughs> One third cup of brown sugar. And one teaspoon of this chili garlic sauce that I'm using. I'm out of my um, usual sambal that I usually use. So this, this should work just fine. We're gonna mix this up. And we have to put some cornstarch in here, but we'll wait on that. Let's go ahead and put all these chicken uh, meat pieces in here. And the reason why I um, like, you just wanna make sure that they're separated before you put in, because the cornstarch sticks and then they kind of fold over. So this way, it's gonna cook evenly. Or they might even stick to each other. So that's why I like to. Now since these are such thin strips, they should cook fairly quickly. Okay, so we're gonna turn this around. Let the other side finish cooking. And I'm telling you, this is the best way. I, I did one trial for home and I deep fried it and I got Platters everywhere. It was a mess. So just make sure your meat is very, very dry. That's number one. And just marinate for about 20 minutes so all the flavors can get together. And then when it's done, this is what it's going to look like. You want to put it on a paper towel so you soak off uh, most of the or whatever is remaining oil in there. We're going to keep that aside. And then the sauce is almost done. All we have to do now is just add a little bit of cornstarch in there. If your mixture is cold, the cornstarch should not make any lumps. So once you get your meat all cooked and you get your veggies cut. Really, this recipe goes so, so, so fast. So I'm going to take all the meat out. I'm just going to transfer my wok on, turn that one on high. I'm going to add just a little bit of oil in here. You don't need much, just about a tablespoon will do. Our oil is was already hot, remember. But we're gonna wait until it smokes just a little bit. I forgot to mention, you can also add these dried chilies in there, or you could use Thai peppers if you have the red ones. All right, so you see how that's smoking? That's perfect. We're gonna add veggies in here.
I want to stir fry this on high. <clears throat> a couple of those chilies in here. You want these veggies to be semi crunchy, so <clears throat> if you're using your stove top and it's gas, it's gonna go much faster for you. My tabletop one doesn't get too hot. sure you'll stir your sauce before you add it in so none of the cornstarch is sitting on the bottom. <coughs> you can see but our sauce is thickening up pretty well I just want to make sure that all my meat and veggies are coated in the sauce this is perfect go a quick dish okay all you need now is to take some spring onions and just throw some on there if you wanted to you could also add uh, some sesame seeds on there okay now I'm gonna do a quick taste test for you I know it's really really hot but I can't believe the meat is so tender. Carrots have a little crunch to it. Um, the meat doesn't have so much of that gooey cornstarch on it, so that's perfect. I think my daughter's gonna love this one. I have to chew this really, really well, otherwise I won't be able to do videos for you guys. Um, so, <clears throat> try this. Definitely a plus in our house. We Everybody loves it. So, today we made some Mongolian beef. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Hannah's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time. Another great video. See you then, friends.